everyone loves a bargain and I've done another camping bargain hack, but this time it's in Tiger and it's coming next here, Big Man in the Woods. Hey guys, welcome to Big Man in the Woods. My name's Mark, I'm your scout leader helping you deliver skills for life. Now, a few months ago, I did a shopping trip to Poundland and I showed you where I get my fire lighting pans from. If you haven't seen that, the vlog is up up here how I make my own fire lighting pits made out of a frying pan and how I make some uh, fire starters all the goodies from Poundland uh, and that went really well and people have been messaging me saying Mark can you do another one can you do another one so this time I went to a different shop another favorite shop of mine to get some camping goodies um, we have it here in the UK it's called Tiger uh, they've upgraded the name now and it's called the Flying Tiger um, but I always call it Tiger and it's one of those shops that have got a bit of bit of this and a bit of that and you, you don't really need most of the stuff that's in there but it's cheap and you're like I need it so it got me thinking what can I go in there and buy camping related scout related stuff um, we're not going to look at stationery and things like that they have an amazing array of stationery this is all about camping uh, maybe putting a patrol fire lighting kit together or something like that so all on a cheap budget not buying expensive stuff so let's go to the shop and see what we can find Right, so we're back home. Let's go through the bag of goodies and see what you can do to get a nice fire lighting kit and camping basics from uh, from Tiger. Um, yeah, so you saw earlier on, it's going to be a bit of a rustling noise. Uh, this tin, metal tin, is actually a lunchbox tin. It is rather expensive, um, but it is a good size look it does it's just my more or less my hand size isn't it so it's a good size tin um, and you can use this maybe as a patrol fire lighting kit what we've got at the moment which I probably will do actually is a good idea now I've said it uh, is just those old cigarette um, tins that you can get tobacco tins not cigarette tins. two ounce tobacco tins is what we've been using but this I think it's quite good this is eight quid. Um, as I say, it's on a more expensive side. I wouldn't probably, yeah, I don't know. It's good. It looks good. Um, but yeah, it's all about not using plastic, isn't it? But so we've got this um, tin for eight quid. Um, I did a vlog a while ago about one of my favorite fire lighting hacks, and that is to make um, a tin degrader. Uh, making a getting some twigs that are wet just like today here in London uh, and getting some dry tinder inside and we know it's dry inside and that is using a tinder grader uh, did, 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 can you see that and that's right it's just a pencil sharpener and I've got a vlog up here on how to use this pencil sharpener and honestly guys having this in your kit um, not just your patrol kit but on your, on your personal kit is what I always take to guarantee you get a source of dry wood uh, a metal sharpener. I think these were two for a quid in Tiger. Now, when I go camping, I never go without a eye mask. Uh, mine's packed away in my kit, so I just raided my daughter's um, bedroom for her eye mask. I quite like this one. What do you reckon? Suits me. <laughs> um, I think these were a quid or something like that. So, honestly, I never go camping without an eye mask just to block out that excess light when you're either in your hammock or um, particularly when you're tense and it's and it's getting bright in the spring and it's still five o'clock and the birds are tweeting and you're like you know just need an extra hours kip so in my kit i always have an eye mask now this guys is probably one of my best best hacks um if you're going camping okay um i didn't buy a new one because i already got one of these um and this is a um washing sack for the washing machine okay so that's what it's designed for you put your washing in it and you can throw it in the washing machine but i take this camping with me um 
in my kit and I just put all my dirty washing in this. Um, so it's not mixed up with my kit and I can just get it straight out if it's muddy, throw it in the washing machine uh, and that's that. I do know people who use these for the um, cutlery kit. So they put the pan, uh, the pen, cutlery, they put their plate, bowl, mug and um, utensils in this washing bag, which is an, another idea. So these, this is like 50p or something like that. So getting a wash kit bag, uh, another highly recommendation from there. Um, fire lighting kit, you can get some basic fire lighting kit, make your own fire lighters, some washing, um, um, cotton wool makeup pads. We all know that cotton wool and Vaseline are amazing for fire starters. And I've made a vlog about making your own fire starters from these bad boys, these, these makeup removers and some wax. Uh, I couldn't find any tea lights, so I found a candle for uh, two for a quid in Tiger. So it's, it's all getting uh, your patrol some ideas for skills for life, isn't it? You know, they can make their own fire lighters before going camp using makeup and candles. So pick that up from a from a, from Tiger. Bit of a bargain. Uh, I seem to always pick up glow sticks. I've got a whole stack of these in there in my shed. Glow sticks, uh, and we play with them all the time. Uh, in here, in the garden with the kids as well. But you know, um, when you go camping. Um, for particularly like the beavers and scouts, you can uh, beavers and uh, beavers and cubs put these by the guy ropes so they don't trip over them at night time. You can play nighttime bowling. Um, there's a million one things you can do with glue sticks, so always have some glue sticks in your kit if you're going with the little ones. What else have we got in the hall today? Yes, we've got some really good things in here actually, uh, as well as my essentials of going with an eye mask i always earplugs now if it's me on duty uh, at night time i won't put the earplugs because it blocks them out but you know when i'm doing camps where there's just leaders uh if i'm doing girl reunion or something like that i was doing a training weekend a few weeks ago at paca uh always take some earplugs just blocks out there's excessive snores and these annoying birds when you just want another hour's kip. So, you know, these four of those for a quid, bargain. A jute string, jute sizal. Let's get that on the camera. Uh, why have I got this? This is an amazing fire lighter. Cut a bit off, fluff it up, open those fibers, open those fibers, real. It takes a few minutes, bit of preparation, and you get a big bundle of lovely tinder. Take a spark and off it goes. Uh, so you've got that, or you do what I do, and you um, drop it in some melted wax, and then it becomes um, waterproof. This has the fire lighter, candle, the wax acts as a fuel, waterproof. So these are really these two, another good fire lighters. So you've got two fire lighters here: the uh, the makeup pads and the jute string. Just put them in some melted wax. Another good tip there. Now I saw this little bad boy, <laughs> isn't it little? as my boy would say, isn't that so cute, daddy? Very cute. Look at that, it's a mini dustpan and brush. Can you see that? Mini dustpan and brush, and look at the size of it. If I put it against my palm, it's tiny. And I always have a dustpan and brush in my kit, in my tent, because just to sweep up the leaves and the, that mud and stuff like that. And this is so small, proper cool to get in your kit. Uh, what else have we got? I think we got one more thing. Yeah, one more thing. I saw this. <laughs> I haven't got one of these and it's been on my list of things to buy. And that is a shoe bag. Actually, let's go and try it out now. Shoes are here. Ooh. God, Monday. Uh, so my shoes, these ones are size 13. Uh, I see a fail already. Don't think they're gonna fit in. Let's try and wrestle. <music> Failed. So if you have size, size 12, 13 boots, <laughs> this shoe bag isn't gonna work. But I think if you have normal size, non-clown shoes, uh, 
Um, I think it will fit, as I say. It doesn't say a maximum of the shoe size. No, it doesn't. But either way, I think these will be quite cool for your basic kit. So there we are, guys. A little tiger haul to get some basic kit uh, in, in Tiger. And it just cost me just under... Uh, let me consult my thing. Yeah, it was just £16 exactly. Um, I think my favourite haul, my favourite shopping bit has to be this miniature dust pan and brush. And it's even got a little magnet so you can click it on your scalp pole, in your scalp pole, in your tent poles. So getting a little of this, that's it. Yeah, awesome. If you want to see some more of my tips and tricks about delivering practical skills and skills for life here at Bigger Man in the Woods, click up here. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.